In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying integers. So let's start with the basics. What is 5 times 4? Whenever you see this little dot between two numbers, it indicates multiplication. It represents the product of two numbers. Now, multiplication is basically repeat addition. 5 times 4 means you're adding 5 4 times, or you're adding 4 five times. If we add five four times, notice what we'll get. Five plus five is ten. And the second two fives, if we add them together, that's ten. Ten plus ten is twenty. So therefore, five times four is twenty. So whenever you need to multiply two numbers, just think of adding numbers a certain amount of times. So let me give you another example. Let's say if we wish to multiply six by three. By the way, if you see two numbers in parentheses next to each other, it also represents multiplication. 6 times 3 is equivalent to adding 6 3 times, or you can add 3 6 times. Both values will give you the same answer. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 plus 6 is 18. So therefore, 6 times 3 is 18. Try this example. What is 8 times 4? Feel free to pause the video and go ahead and get this answer. You can use the multiplication tables or you can use the technique that you just saw in this video. So to find the answer, instead of adding 4 8 times, let's add 8 4 times because it's a lot less work. And let's write in 2. Now 8 plus 8 is 16. And if we add the other two 8s, it's also 16. Now let's add 16 plus 16 the old-fashioned way. 6 plus 6 is 12, so we're going to write the 2, carry over the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 16 plus 16 is equal to 32. 8 times 4, or 4 times 8, is equivalent to this answer. It's 32. Sometimes you might be faced with an example that contains a negative integer. So, for example, what is negative 6 multiplied by positive 5? What's the answer? So, here are some basic rules that you need to keep in mind. Whenever you multiply a positive number by a positive number, this will give you a positive result. Whenever you multiply a negative number by another negative number, it will also give you a positive result. So whenever you multiply two numbers or two integers with the same sign, you're going to get a positive integer. When you multiply a positive number by a negative number or a negative number by a positive number, it will give you a negative integer. So whenever you multiply two integers with different signs, you're going to get a negative answer. If you multiply two integers with a positive sign or with the same sign rather, you're going to get a positive integer. So just review. If they have the same sign, you're going to get a positive answer. If they have different signs, you're going to get a negative answer. And that's only if you're multiplying two integers. So in this example, negative 6 times positive 5, what is the answer? Well, first, let's get the, let's not worry about the sign first. What's 6 times 5? If we add 6 5 times, what answer will we get? 6 plus 6 is 12. If we add the next two uh, six numbers, that will be 12 as well. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 6 is 30. So 6 times 5 is 30. Now, negative 6 times positive 5, the signs are opposite. We have different signs, so we're going to get a negative answer. So this is going to be negative 30. Try this example. What's 5 times negative 7? So we have a positive integer multiplied by a negative integer. The final answer is going to be negative. So now we need to find out what 5 times 7 is. So let's add 7 5 times. 7 plus 7 is 14. And 14 plus 14 is 28. 28 plus 7, that's 35. So 7 times 5 is 35. Positive 5 times negative 7, therefore, will be negative 35. 
because these two numbers have opposite signs. So therefore, when you multiply those two integers, you should get a negative answer. Here's another example for you. What's negative 9 times negative 3? Go ahead and pause the video and work on that example. So here we have two integers with the same sign. So this will give us a positive answer. Whenever you multiply a negative uh, number, excuse me, by another negative number, it's going to give you a positive number. So we're going to figure out what 9 times 3 is equal to. So let's add 9 three times. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. So 9 times 3 is 27. Therefore, negative 9 times negative 3 is also positive 27. Sometimes, you may need to multiply three integers as opposed to two integers. So let's go ahead and work on this example. So what is negative 4 times positive 2 times negative 5? Well, let's go in order. So what's a negative 4 times positive 2? A negative times a positive number is equal to a negative number. So negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. So now we just need to multiply negative 8 times negative 5. Here we have two negative numbers. When multiplied, will give you a positive number. So if 8 times 5 is 40, negative 8 times negative 5 has to be positive 40. And so that's the answer in this example. Here's another example. What's negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 5? So take a minute and work on that example. So negative 3 times negative 4. We have two numbers of the same sign, so that's going to give us a positive number. 3 times 4 is 12, so negative 3 times negative 4 is also positive 12. Now, what's 12 times negative 5? 12 times 5 is 60, so 12 times negative 5 will be negative 60. And that's the answer for that example. What's 2 multiplied by negative 3 times 5? 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. Negative 6 times positive 5, that's going to give us a negative answer. And uh, it's negative 30. So whenever you need to multiply three integers, just take it one step at a time. Now sometimes you may need to multiply two numbers where one or both of the numbers might be a large number. For example, what's 38 multiplied by 7? If you get into a situation like this, you can use a calculator or you could just multiply it the old-fashioned way. 8 times 7 is 56. So what we're going to do is write the 6 and carry over the 5. 3 times 7 is 21, and you, then you have to add the 5. 21 plus 5 is 26. So therefore, 38 times 7 is 266, and you can uh, verify that with the calculator if you're unsure. So try this example. What's 26 multiplied by 35? So let's write it the old-fashioned way. 5 times 6 is 30. We're going to write the 0, carry over the 3. And then 3 times 6 is 18, plus 3, that's 21. Now, before you multiply 2 by 5, you need to write a 0 first. Now, ignore the 3. 2 times 5 is 10, so we're going to write the 0 and carry over the 1. And then 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that's 7. So now we need to add. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 7 is 9. So 35 times 26 should be 9, 10. And just to verify it, let's type it in the calculator, and we do indeed get this answer. Now what about this one? 99 times 8. You can do it the old-fashioned way, or you can use the distributive property. 99 is equivalent to 100 minus 1. So basically, just multiply that by 8. So let's distribute 8 to 100 and negative 1. 100 times 8 is 800. And 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So now we just got to take 800 and subtract it by 8, which will give us 792. So that is the answer.
try this one using the distributive property. What is 23 times 6? 23 is basically 20 plus 3. So now let's multiply 6 by 21st. So if you have six $20 bills, how much money do you have? Six 20s is 120. Now, if six times two is 12, you gotta add the zero, so six times 20 is 120. And six times three is 18. So now, we just have to add 120 and 18. So eight and zero is eight, two and one is three, so this adds up to 138. So now you know how to multiply two integers, or even three integers with the same sign, or even with a different sign. And you've learned different techniques uh, that can assist you with multiplication.